In this video, I'm going to show you how to run large language models 100% offline on your own local computer. Recently, I came across uh, this amazing piece of software called LM Studio that lets you download and run large language models locally on your computer. First, you need to download uh, the suitable version for your own computer. I'm going to use the Mac version because I have a M1 MacBook and uh, I have it here installed and uh, ready to use. As you can see here, there is a search bar that you can search for different kind of models and then you can download them and use them on your own computer. Um, for example, I'm going to download the tiny version of Llama by Meta and uh, show you how it works. There is one point that you need to have in mind. Uh, you need to download the GGUF version of uh, the models. This is because this is the format that this software uh, supports and you can uh, run the GGUF uh, models without problems. But if you want to download, for example, a normal Llama, let me search it here. Okay, here you can see, for example, uh, this version of Llama with 7 billion parameters. And here there are bin files. So you need the GGUF. And because of that, when you're searching for a model, it's very important to include GGUF in your search. Okay, so for example, I want a tiny version. So I write tiny llama, and then I search. So this is the version that I'm going to use. Well, uh, this one, this is actually pretty small. There was also another version. Let me see. Mm, well, I think this one could be useful. Yeah, I can just download the Q4, Q5, Q6. Okay, let's just go for the smallest version. This one, just need to click on download. And then here, you can see that it's downloading. Here, it also shows your estimated total RAM, I have around uh, 17 gigabytes of RAM. It's important to know if your computer is capable of running that model. For example, I cannot run uh, a model with, for example, 14 billion parameters, that's just too much for my, uh, for my uh, laptop. Here, it also says full GPU offload possible, it says this model, might fit entirely in your GPU's memory, this will considerably speed up inference. There may be other factors that prevent it from loading, such as the model's architecture, model file integrity, or the amount of memory available on your computer. Okay, so now that we have this installed, we can go here, and then we have the tiny llama here, and also another model that I downloaded previously. But let's choose this one. You can see here that it shows the RAM usage of this model and also the CPU. Um, on the right side, you can uh, see here that, for example, if you have a if you have a MacBook, you can or you have a, a Mac, you can just check this. Use Apple Metal GPU. Metal support is experimental. Metal is engaged during token generation only to tell if it works. Keep an eye for significant CPU percentage drop while the model is generating. Okay, so the interesting thing about this software is that it, it is explaining everything for you. So wherever you just put the pointer of your mouse, it has explanations for you. I'm not going to change anything um, as I just checked this one. Okay, let me close this. A reload model to apply configuration because I checked use Apple Metal. I had to reload it. Um, so you can you can play around with each of these parameters, and uh, there is enough explanation about each of them. But I'm not going to change anything. Okay, let's just say 
what is the meaning of life okay as you can see it starts to use my cpu six percent and um okay it is just generating some code for me i'm wondering why it is why is it generating uh code uh, i believe life's meaning lies in the beauty and wonder of being alive with all its complexities including our own unique personality where logs are sorted okay this is just irrelevant let's regenerate and see what happens uh, let me reload it um and see if anything changes i will also okay let's delete this one and make a new chat okay with this okay write an endless python loop okay this is actually not infinite it's range three um, but yeah it is it is generating something here that uh, it was not generating before i don't know maybe it's because um this is the wrong version that i downloaded uh, but for example let's test this one which is a bigger model and it has a better performance it is a uh, lava version one with seven billion parameters Okay, so let's try it again. What is the meaning of life? Okay, as you can see, this model is just really using my CPU and my RAM. And it takes more time to give me an answer. And I think because I am recording this and I'm running uh, the model at the same time it is heavier for my for my laptop okay but as you can see it provides a more comprehensive answer to my question and it is really using my cpu okay nice uh, so i think i've explained more or less important things about uh, the search part and uh, these are all downloaded from Hugging Face Hub. If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, it's just a big, huge database for, for the free open source um, AI models. Okay, here there is also a very interesting feature that you can make a server using this offline model. So for instance i'm using this lava version one with seven billion parameters and i want to start a server and i click on this and the server is started now let's test it so i just copy this curl command and if i paste it here let's see how it works hello my name is sam okay so i just asked always answer in rhymes introduce yourself okay now let's test it with another input this time i say okay um introduce yourself and write a poem about nature as you can see it's just generating the text and it'll take some time. A flower blooms, a gentle grace. I am the one with nature's embrace and so on. As you can see, you can just easily set up a server and then connect to it and use the, the language model of your preference. So that's about it. Here you can see your models, you can remove them or you can just see some information about them and uh, that's about it it's just pretty easy to use it and i think more people will be using this and uh, hopefully in the future they provide support for other formats of language models hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one